Hey guys, my name is Kieber. It just came to my attention only about 18% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you are indeed a part of the 82 percentile and you have not subscribed, please make sure to drop that subscription as well as click the notification bell. But nonetheless, hope you guys do enjoy the video. Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Kieber and today we're going to be bringing you a pro arsenal settings video or at least a settings video for my viewers who have always been asking, hey, how do you optimize your game? How do you get 120 to 240 frames per second? Well, this video will definitely be the one for you, but regardless, let's go ahead and jump straight in by first configuring our Roblox client. So we go over to the Roblox um, client settings by pressing escape and this is for PC specifically. Go over to settings. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is this graphics quality. You want to make sure you have it at least five or even below, but just keep in mind render distance does come into play here on some of these maps, where if you have your graphics quality turned too low, it won't render the full map distance. So I keep it at around five. I don't go all the way up to give it maximal settings. I always stick it around five or so, and this actually is fairly optimal for me. Um, second is to go into the in-game menu and click the cogwheel, the settings icon, whichever you, want, whichever you want to call that, or whichever you prefer. You'll notice all these different settings. I disable all of them. Kill effects, subtitles, shadows, viewport character, particle physics, all that just completely gone. Um, there's really no point to these other than just kind of cosmetic effects, so I just remove them entirely. Um, something else to know, FOV doesn't really affect FPS, or at least from my standpoint, I keep mine at around 100, and this is... Uh, Fairly new to the community ops update. Crosshair color doesn't really matter, but this is what the in-game settings are that I achieve. Now, this isn't the magic sauce, or I guess the magic dust, if you will. Um, what really is the kicker is actually using the FPS unlocker that is actually downloadable via github.com. So let's go ahead and go over to that. All right, so first things first, before we get into the FPS unlocker, we first want to remove textures from the game. So if we right-click the Roblox player icon, click open file location it'll bring you to the actual location where the .exe executable is actually hosted so if we go into the platform content folder pc and then load up the textures file you'll notice or folder you'll notice that yours will be filled with tons of information here and tons of different folders and different textures and whatnot remove them all except for these four studs wang index brdf lut.dds and then the sky i personally keep the sky because without it it kind of looks boring to me i just enjoy the sky you can remove this as well it's totally optional but essentially the idea here is that we're going to remove any textures from being rendered in game so that we can maximize fps so now with that being done, we now have completed both the Robux client setup, the in-game settings setup, as well as the textures being removed. So the last step of this puzzle is actually to engage with the FPS unlocker. So let's go ahead and go straight over to GitHub and do that right now. All right, so for the FPS unlocker, I have linked a URL in the description of the YouTube video, but essentially it's github.com slash A-X-S-T-I-N, so I guess Austin, slash RBX FPS Unlocker. And you want to go over to the releases section, and then it will have the Roblox FPS Unlocker 4.2.0. And you're going to download with your specific bit that your computer is, so either 64 or 32. Now, if you don't know that information, you can always press the Windows key plus I. This will bring up your Windows settings. Go over to System, then click About. And then in this section right here, you're going to see your system type. And mine, of course, is a 64-bit operating system. So that is where you're going to see whether or not you have a 32-bit or a 64. However, I would assume most of you do have 64. But nonetheless, go ahead and download the version that is for your computer. So let me go ahead and click download here. So this will go straight over to my downloads as a compressed file, or at least I have WinRAR installed or come over as a zip. So go ahead and click a download there. So let's go ahead and pull up the downloads folder. And all we can do is just either A, extract to this folder, or B, we can even double click it if you wanted to. You can even leave it compressed if you have a app such as WinRAR. So let me go ahead and open it with WinRAR here. All right, drag it over here. Oh, whoops. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just double click the .exe that it, that is inside and it'll bring up this little con console here. It'll minimize itself to your system tray and therefore you have now unlocked your FPS. So even if you have the Roblox client open, you can still activate this after. It will just automatically start working. So let's go ahead and just show some example gameplay of the 120 to up to 240 FPS unlocked on the client just so you guys can see some hopefully drastic improvements. 
So just jumping straight into a game here, first things first that you'll notice is that your bullets may potentially shoot even faster than you may remember. And that is because the physics of the game are tied directly to the FPS. So you do get a little bit of an advantage over just an average player that may be still playing on the restricted FPS. But regardless, it is pretty awesome playing with unlocked FPS. And I assure you, you will not want to go back once you get used to it. So it is awesome just kind of a use here. There we go. Nuke them. Nice. Love it whenever I get a multi-kill with the nuke. Here we go. We're actually running around. We're not doing too bad. We're on a little bit of a kill streak here. Let's go ahead and try to pull this game home here. Maybe give us the assist for this one. There it is. Golden Gun is indeed next. But we got Plow Drive from behind. Let's go ahead and rotate back around. There it is. Nice. There it is. Let's see if we can go ahead and try to get this knife kill really quickly here. Rotating around. Maybe they're going to spawn right here. Yes. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, no. Couldn't actually collect the knife kill there. Let's go. Let's actually go ahead and try to rotate back up. We're not the only ones on the knife now. Let's see if we can try to beat whoever is uh, up next here. Wait, I think this is my... Wait, maybe? Oh, no. We ended up losing that game because Minecrafter came up in here. Minecraft 5127 ended up collapsing the guy right behind me. Either way, GG. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the FPS unlocker. Regardless, hopefully, it does help you out in this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Cuber. Please make sure to subscribe as well as smash that like button. And I hope to see you in future videos.